Hello everyone, okay, so today I am going to make a review on this Lenovo A588T. So you can see this is the box. So basically you can get this on $70. Um, you can find it on DHgate, eBay, Amazon, and also AliExpress. But luckily I found out that there is one stock left on uh, this one seller and I get um, and I got a cheap one which is $30 so I grabbed the chance because there is only one left for that cheap <coughs> they want to clear the stock so I'm very lucky to get $30 for this smartphone <laughs> so anyway inside the box um, you will get the USB cable the warranty card and user manual and also the charger adapter so this charger adapter is you can see there is 700 milliampere the output so if you charge your phone using this charger adapter it will take forever to fully charge your phone 700 milliampere is very low output range so it means like you know if you are using your phone while charging I think it will not charge fully that fast so if you want to charge your phone I recommend you charge your smartphone using at least 2.1 ampere output so that you can get a fast charge okay anyway so this is the smartphone let's put this aside okay this is the smartphone it looks like this so if you see the logo it actually have a LED light so whenever you get a message or call or notifications it will blink you can't see it right now but it will so basically this is the shape of the Lenovo A588T you can see it's very slim <coughs> this is at the back how it looks like Okay, I will try to compare it with the Torque X01, which is this one. This is also Android flip phone. This is also Android flip phone. But this one is $650. So this one is the expensive Android flip phone out there. And this one is quite rugged and quite, uh, you know, slim. And this one is uh, just flat design and yeah simple design and quite big okay so there is a pro and cons for the cheap android flip phones and the expensive android flip phones so for the expensive one when you flip it open you will feel that springy experience you know like that and it if you shake it it won't go anywhere it won't move so that is the quality for the expensive um, android flip phone and you can see the quality of the button over there it's very detailed and in every aspect okay so I won't make a review on this smartphone I just want to make a review on this Lenovo so I just say that this um, flip you can see it don't vibrate right so compared to this one let's open this one okay you can see that you see it can yeah it is loose you can see that it's vibrate so you don't have that um, you know premium experience to hold this smartphone and you f you feel when you hold this smartphone it actually feels big and it is actually hard for you to type it because you know the space for you to grip since this one is slim design so the it will easily fall from your hand yeah that's the problem anyway you will get this uh, cheap so you'll get the cheaper quality also at the back the plastic cover is also um, cheaper quality plastic because it's very flexible and I guess it is easily to break yeah that's for sure Okay, anyway so you can see the this is the audio jack volume rocker button and on the right side is the power button over there and the USB charging port okay that's it so let's open this one and see what's inside 
so basically I will unlock this okay so here it is <laughs> this is not the original UI I installed the launcher um, you know and make it look cool so that it doesn't look plain okay so it looks like that okay anyway um, let's go on and check into settings yeah or system information so I will go and open 99 toolkit 99 toolkit there you go okay and I'll try to open no this one system info okay so you, there you go so the system info you can see that is Lenovo uh, A588T network it, it is 3G network don't worry it runs on Android 4.4.2 and also the screen size is 480 times 728 okay so the multi-touch it claims to be five more pointers but I actually tested it with the app um, touch sense touch sensor um, but it it actually detects only two pointers just two not more than two so that is pretty lame that's fake over there so the CPU model is yeah normal Android uh, smartphone CPU ARM v7 processor so this is quad core which have four core of the CPU uh, and on 1.3 gigahertz speed so it is okay but actually if you see the RAM the RAM size is 512 MB only not not 1 gigabyte just 512 MB so this one is a little bit of space consumed by the internal app okay and uh, the rest is just plain I don't want to show that okay, let's go home <laughs> okay so actually uh, the UI is okay for Android 4.4.2 <coughs> if you make a N22 benchmark you will get this one is the lowest speed among every smartphone out there so if you are just a basic user I guess it is okay <coughs> so let's not talk more about that let's flip this phone there you go <coughs> So when it flips, this one won't vibrate. It will stay put. So that's cool. <clears throat> and it looks like a PDA, you know? Yeah, personal PDA. <clears throat> okay, let's see the camera. So the camera is 5 megapixels. But I don't suggest you to use this camera even though if you buy it. Because it is very I don't know it's blurry not sharp and yeah what do you expect from a cheaper smartphone yes so um, just exit this I don't like this camera okay uh, the rest I think is okay there are no problems just that I want to state that this smartphone is cheap so that you see when you will get a cheaper quality of the smartphone you see that's vibration Whoa. so if you are uh, a type of guy who likes classic smartphone uh, embedded with the smartphone inside I guess suggest this to buy this cheap one and you will have the experience of flip phone and also smartphone so I guess that's it if you enjoy watching my video please leave a comment give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe